Okay guys, that was a quick teaser trailer revealing some information that's going to be coming in January's update. So as you can see right here, this is the first camo that we're actually revealed within this trailer. This camo is definitely interesting to say the least. I'm glad that FIFA 3 are starting to implement these sort of different animals and designs into these camos. But I probably won't be rocking it when these camos are officially released because I usually tend to go for a sort of more outgoing camo. So if, say for example the gold camo or anything that looks a bit more distinctive is what I usually would use. But nevertheless, this camo is still very unique. So as we move on, we just see more poses of the Mark IV Spartan and was shown another camo which seems to have a wolf. But well, the only reason why I would use this camo is because it's definitely relatable to my channel. But still, it's a very good and simplistic camo. So here we get to see another angle of this camo. And I'm not going to lie, it looks really, really good, I must say. Now, this camo in particular really caught my attention straight away. Now, I'm not sure if it's the color scheme or the contrasting colors or what it is. But this camo instantly got my attention just because of the vibrant colors. And I think this is probably the best camo that we've seen out of the two. But if you guys pay closer attention to the bottom of the carbine, you can see that it has sort of a neon glow. Now, I'm not sure if this is already implemented into the carbine, but if this camera has some sort of implementation to modify the look of the weapon ever so slightly, that's pretty cool. All this carbine right here might be a different variant of the original carbine. You never know. Again, we get to see another look of the camo itself. And this part right here was actually quite interesting. Now, notice that the carbine was shooting purple plasma shots instead of green plasma shots. So I think along with camos, we're going to be getting more weapon variants within the January update. Anyway guys, it's been Reflex Waller. You guys have been awesome and thanks for watching.